Hey there, I'm just um, hitting you up from the ivory bed that my mom is growing with love. Well, it was put in love and it's growing on its own. That's a whole word right there and I'm not even about to go all into it because it wasn't, I didn't come on to, because that's a, I see stuff in this, I, I will come back in a day or two and give a word about what God is showing me in here, but that's not why I'm on this video right now. Um, my family, we've experienced another loss and that's, that's, um, seems to be the rolling trend in these days, but we know that in Revelation, it said that this will come to pass and, you know, that we will not see. We're going to have a thousand to fall at our one side and a 10,000 and on your right side that's what psalm 91 said and so but it said it will not come near you and i know that that feels as though it's supposed to be personal like you isn't you but it does make you you know want to include your family in that but we also should understand that god has an ultimate plan for our lives and there is absolutely nothing that even death can stop us from getting to it Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. And so, these times, we must comfort each other. Now, I'm honestly not on here seeking comfort because I'm getting it from the Holy Ghost. But I am saying you should give comfort to yourself and give comfort to those that are going through times. Because what happens is that's how love is going to grow in the earth because you're planting the seed of love and then it grows in the other person and so then what happens is is fertilizing your it's fertilizing your seed too hallelujah glory to god he wants us all connected that way he wants us to be that way god always spoke of family always always and family don't always mean blood also i mean family is when it's in your heart and they see your heart and you see their heart and you care for them and they care for you and they you know are a, a part of your life not just because of holidays because you may never even see them on holidays you may not even see them you know on birthdays but they're in your heart forever and nothing can take them out that's true family and that's what God is talking about because that's the kind of love he wants us to have he wants us to um, experience love from a point that it doesn't limit where you give it but you give it even to a stranger because you know that God created them no matter what condition they're in whether they are righteous Adori come back here now come back here sorry my dog whether they're righteous or whether they are in the world and lost in despair it doesn't matter God created them and he loves them just the same and um, he wants us to be connected in that way. So when someone in your, you know, circle, in your family, in your tribe, I should say, because in the Bible, it was tribes. Um, and you're part of that tribe and you lose one of your beloved family members, then yes, it will honestly become difficult. But in those times is when we must believe God at his word when he says I will give comfort to the to the ones who need comfort the broken hearted and contrite in spirit that means he knows Adori come here girl come on girl get up here come on come on girl good girl he knows get up there sorry she took my train of thought y'all may Holy Spirit bring it back Holy, I might have a dog in heat so if you know anything about female dogs you know that this is, um, I have to keep my eyes on her and she keeps trying to sneak in that back and I don't have her locked up, me on a chain right now. So pardon me, but back to, you know, this word that God put in my heart to share with you, us, because, um, I feel like I'm not the only one that is experiencing loss after loss after loss, but still feeling as though it's a gain somehow, because it means that God is pruning and he's also taking away things in our lives that we were probably leaning on a little too hard or either it's just their time and because their journey is their journey and our journey is our journey and when we come to the end of our journey he gonna do the same thing for us 
we're going to bring us home. That's a celebration because what happens is once you're seeing that they're going to a place where there no longer is going to be pain, sorrow, and shame, or even rejection, you're going to have full love, which is what we're all seeking here in this dark and disgusting earth, then what happens is you realize that they're the one that's winning. We're the one that's struggling, but we're not going to lose because the battle is already fixed it's a fixed fight god already fought the battle and so what we got to do is just get through every single day to get to that point where we look and see god jesus coming in the clouds and then all those that said he wasn't alive and he wasn't real or he was real but only a teacher or he was only a prophet then that's the ones that's going to bow down because we all every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that jesus is lord and um, he loves you. He loves you because he can cover you in a way that nothing on this earth can cover you. He can't just expect to sit there and feel this pain of reality and not feel a need to need a savior. He is a savior, not a savior, but the savior of all because he's coming to save me. And he's coming to save you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The mailman's pulling up. He came here to give us the peace that we don't have. And... He has it in the palm of his hands. There is nothing. Now, I want to tell you, my, my mom's dog is going through. Keep her in her prayers. But um, when the mailman came, so she's been kind of like lagging around a little bit, not really walking around. And it's really kind of getting to my heart because I love her because she takes care of my mom when I'm not here. And so she's been taking care of my mom for many, many, many years. You know, um you know before how can I, she was taking care of my mom when I wasn't here basically and so she's my family too so when I get here and love on her like that it makes me I don't know I'm trying not to get too emotional too full on this video but I'm gonna just tell you she just got up and 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 walked on over to that fence because the postman was right there what a blessing to see that and experience it She's been kind of slow lately. She hadn't been really moving around too much. But look, she's walking around now. God is good. He's in the building. God is in the vicinity. He's with us. Two, when two or three are together, he is there. And I know it to be true, not only because it's in the Bible, and I do believe everything in the Word of God because it's his Word, sacred. But I know it because I feel it in my heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So let's give love, ladies and gentlemen, because that's what God is. And that's why Jesus came to this earth to give love and to ascend into heaven with freedom because of him dying on the cross and rising from the death of shame and rejection that he had to go through. But he did that for us, not him. He did nothing to deserve it. He did not one single thing to deserve it. He came here pure from heaven and he's purer than pure because he's God in the flesh. He's the image of God in human form. God is in heaven. His son came to earth. My God. And he came here to die for us. You and me. Because we deserved it. Because we had death on us because of sin. We were born into it and our parents were born into it. And their parents were born into it. Because of Abraham and Eve. I'm sorry, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Creating the first sin in earth and all of our ancestors including us was born into that curse of sin and death because nothing impure see let me just tell you though what it is is reality is nothing impure can go to heaven and be around god because he's that holy and that pure that even the sight or even the thought of evil can't even exist around him that's how pure the angels that are around him he has angel he has a oh my goodness go to ezekiel please and read it but it's so amazing it describes of this this temple that's full of way too many things for me to even mention that is so beautiful and out of this world that you can't even really he couldn't even really fully describe in human words but he tried and it was amazing it i say tried because i don't think anybody could excel or know how to explain heaven but the son of man the son of god jesus because he lived there and came here lived here for a while in human flesh around 33 years they say that's irrelevant regardless because the fact is he lived and he walked the same dirt he walked in the same grass 
in the same water and the same mud that we see and walk on and get wet with every single day. And he did that just so he can take on in human form what humans deserve, which was death. And yet he took it and made the ultimate sacrifice and took it to hell. He took it to hell and he buried it. Hallelujah. But he didn't just bury death in hell where it belonged, but he took the keys to the kingdom, the freedom to God, the freedom of being allowed back in the presence of God again, because when he rose from the dead, what he did was he allowed the door to open up for all mankind because he freed us in our form. And so because he freed us from that curse, now we can talk to God and be able to tell him, look, I am going through a lot right now. It ain't easy, but I'm having good times in it because you are giving me your peace. I'm telling, I'm talking to him in the presence of you right now. Now it's time for me to talk to me. Let you hear me talk to God. God, I love you. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. If I get into it, how deep I could keep going and never stop. So Lord, I ask for you to please, please Lord, read my heart. You said you seek all things in the heart, even that we don't know. Please seek it and see how much I love you. I must say, Lord, it ain't easy. It is not easy. Mm. But I have peace because you give it to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I know I wouldn't be able to have gone through all of my family leaving one by one. And other death in my life and other things that died around me in my life that I know that I'm only in my right mind because of you. You got me in your hands. I feel it. I thank you. You show me all the time. I see it everywhere. I look, I see you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What I want you to know, Lord God, is I know life ain't easy right now but i'm grateful for what i experienced because i'm still feeling feelings and emotions which means that i'm alive and if i find them thank you jesus and if i'm still alive then that means you have your grace upon me because otherwise i know i would have been dead i would have been dead long time ago so i know that everything that i'm experiencing is for my good lord i trust you even though my heart is hurting I still trust you and I'm not the same as I was before because of you because otherwise I'd have been buried up under the covers but I'm out here enjoying this beautiful cloudy day with the rain that felt falling earlier and experiencing your peace and your joy even though it ain't easy right now it I'm experiencing your peace I'm a living witness to Philippians 4 5 and 6 and 7 when it says the Lord is near us be not dismayed don't be anxious about it don't worry about it with thanksgiving which I know I am grateful thank you Jesus hallelujah with gratefulness and thanksgiving and petition and prayer just put all of your concerns in the lap of God talk to God about it and then he will guard your heart and your mind. That is me paraphrasing, but yet the message is still true. Philippians 4, 5, 6, and 7. That's what he says. Don't worry about it. I know it ain't easy for you because I've seen your life to the beginning and the end. And I'm telling you, at the end, it's, it's far greater, far greater far greater than what you have seen already so if you just trust me and go through this time if you just could go through and and be able to lean in on me have these moments with me talk with me tell me all about it i already know what it is but i want you to talk about it because that way you can release it just let it out on me i can handle it i'm god that's what he says and i trust you hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Lord, we love you. Cover your people. And I know we already have it. But I'm saying it for the sisters and brothers that need to hear me say it out loud. Because I know in my heart you are already covering me. Because otherwise I'd be out of my mind right now. But I love you so much I can't get out of my mind. I got to stay in with you because your peace is keeping me strong. So, Lord God, cover us. Cover us. 
keep us covered close as in the word you gave me yesterday as the eagle covers her her babies please cover us as you said in psalm 91 4 i cover you with my feathers and under my wings you will find refuge and my truth will be your shield and buckler psalm 91 and 4 you said it i believe it so i know it's already done i just need your peace we need your peace we need your strength and i know it's here i feel it i pray that my sisters and brothers can feel it too and lord at the end of our days we can't wait to see you we can't wait to see you but lord give us strength to go through these days and be able to declare your name as Lord in front of the multitude of whoever hears it, no matter if it's someone that knows me or not, to say that I love you. Give me grace to continue to do that, to say it out loud so other folks can understand that you can have peace even when it ain't easy. And trust me, it ain't been, but it's been beautiful because God's story is beautiful and I know it's unfolding to something beautiful. So I have to see this opportunity as beautiful because one day when I tell my testimony, this going to be the most beautiful part, even though it don't feel so good. Hallelujah. So I need you to know this. We are already good. Let's just keep on holding to God and having these little conversations. Have a beautiful day. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Go and enjoy this day. No matter what emotional state or even what you feel and think, enjoy that moment too. Because God's hand is on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in closing, may the Lord bless thee and keep thee and shine his face upon thee and be gracious unto thee may the lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace give thee peace give thee peace give thee peace hallelujah give thee peace we receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah have a blessed day bye-bye